Hey guys, it's me Tawana. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're coming back, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm trying to expand my channel and do other stuff. Um, I do business stuff um, to promote my business, SMJ Cosmetics. Um, I'm also trying to like just do other stuff, um, tutorials on different things, and I'm trying to start to do like hair reviews. So I'm gonna do my first hair review on a wig that I just bought today from my local beauty supply store. Um, this one is from Honey C. Um, it's a silk lace front C part wig, as you can see. Um, this wig was $29.99. I think they put it like right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's how much it was. $29.99. And yeah, I'm going to do a review on this wig today. And I'm going to see if I like it. Um, this is the Natex. Natex, I think that's what it's called. If y'all can see it right there. And the color that I got is called Sea Torch torch and it's like a blend so i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like before i actually open it open it and it's like a red because i'm trying to do like a red color now i'm trying to like do different things so this is what when you get it this is what it looks like and it has the color and everything and if y'all could see this is it's like a blend color so it's like a red it gets like like that darker red on the bottom um so yeah i have on a half wig now if y'all want me to like show y'all how i did the little high bun thing with this one i will do that in another video um so what i'm gonna start to do right now is just open this wig out of the packaging Hopefully you guys had a good New Year's. I spent mine with my kids, so it was it was all right. No complaints, no complaints. Let me pick that up later. So far, by looking at this wig without even taking it out of the packaging, I like the curl pattern of it. I like it's like a loose, like a loose curl. It's not too tight. So I'm liking that part so far. I'm just taking this part off. Okay, okay. I see some clips in here. That's good. Take the little net thing that comes with it off. And I'm going to cut this part out. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this out. I'm gonna just put it to the side for now. I think on the inside of these, I think they show you little um. Oh, it tells you about the wig cap, subtle hair, and with this one. Normally, I see where you can. Oh, it does say okay. And it has the instructions for it on the back of the wig. So you guys can see. You can um, flat iron it right here. It says like 300 to 400 degrees. 330 to 400 degrees. You can do that with it. Um, to store in a dry place. To prevent tangling, do not sleep wearing your, wearing your unit. Do not sleep in it. Use a detangling or sheen spray and a gentle comb through from bottom up. And it says for best results, dry naturally. So it means you can't use any um, um, heating on it. So you let it dry. So if you was to wash it, you just got to dry it regular. Um, let it air dry. And it says do not use external heat or brush when wet so you can't brush it when it's wet and you can't use um a blow dryer so so far i like the curl of this this looks like a nice looks like it looks like a nice wig 
Um, on the inside of it, I'm gonna take this part out. It does have some combs for nice secure, so it could be secure. It has one comb here. It has another comb here. And it has a comb at the back. And then it has, let me take this out right here because I think I missed the part that I was supposed to take out. And if you have used this wig, if y'all can leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. If you have used it. And then it has the adjusting strap. And it looks like I got like some baby hairs or something right here. Because these hairs right here are a little bit um, smaller if y'all can see. So it's like baby hairs. I guess so like you could pull it up into like a bun. Like if you want to do something like this with, that I got with this one. Um, and it does have, you can see the C part in it. So it does have that C part. Let me take this out. So this is the C part that they were talking about in the wig. And it also has, this is the lace in the front that I am going to cut. And I don't know if I'm going to pluck it or anything. I don't think I need to. Um, but I like how deep the part is on this wig. So I do like how deep that part is. And you can see... It looks nice. This is very soft. I like the red. Like I said, I love red. Um, I actually do, normally I do blondes, but I wanted to try something different this year, starting 2021. I said I was going to start to do like reds and stuff. So yeah, that's where I got this, um, doing the red for this. And I think it would go good with my skin tone too. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is we are going to, don't talk about my hair because it is a mess. But I'm going to take off this half a wig. Ta-da! And I like this one too. I'll talk about this one in a later video. And how I did that part. So we're just going to adjust my wig cap. Push my hairs in. Pull this one down. And I'm going to type that like multiple wig caps on. So if you are one that like multiple two, I don't just do one wig cap. I always got to do like layer my wig caps one or two just because I like to feel the security of it, you know. So, yeah. So, I'm going to cut, I'm going to start cutting the lace on this. So as y'all can see, I'm going to cut it like right close to the hairline so we can, you know, get that good, good look. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I own, I used to own, I'm not even going to say now because I don't own a lot of wigs now, but I used to own a lot of wigs. I've owned over like 200 and something wigs and I've tried to um go natural so um i said i was going to not perm my hair anymore i haven't permed my hair but i didn't um dye it well i did dye it i didn't perm it i'm not permanent anymore um and right now my hair is like mad short and that's why i love wearing my wigs because wigs are a perfect like if you like if you're one that got short hair and you want to like um your hair to grow a great protective style is always wigs. I will always recommend wigs as a protective style. Because I really be feeling like they do so freaking much like so much and I noticed when I had cut my hair the last time, my hair grew so much because I was wearing my wigs and and I came up with a with a um a little like way for me to. Hold on, I'm 
sorry. I'm just trying to make sure I don't cut these hairs. Hold on, give me one second, guys. Because I do not want to mess this wig up. So I cut the lace out. And this is how close I cut it. I didn't cut it too, too close. I tried not to cut none of the hairs on it. But, um, so yeah, back to what I was about to say, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess this lace up. So I came up with like a little acronym so you can remember how to keep your hair clean and protect at the same time. So it's the C, C M P clean, moisturize, protect. So I call it the C M P acronym. So it's clean, C is clean, M P cmp um the cmp method clean moisturize and protect i came with that yesterday i was like that is so cool like that's gonna be my new little thing clean moisturize and protect the cmp like girl you don't cmp what cmp girl you don't clean moisturize and protect and you ain't even gotta do it just with your hair you can do it with your body you clean with soap you moisturize with lotion and you protect with a layer of clothing Girl, I'm about to go home and see him. Hey. It's like, let me stop. That's corny. That's so corny. But yeah. All right. So this is the wig. We about to throw this baby on. And I'm actually going to adjust. I like to adjust my straps in the back before I put my wig on. Because they be making these joints for people with big heads. I got a little head. My head ain't that big. All right. So we're going to adjust this. Whoa. okay so that's one thing i so far I, i'm not liking about this wig so as you can see to adjust it it stops here there's no there's no um no adjusting strap in the middle. And normally I, I usually put mine like right here, but there's nothing for me to strap it onto. So I'm hoping that by me putting it on this last one, it's not gonna be still too big. So I'm gonna put it on there and hope for the best because normally all my wigs, and I don't even know if this one has one on there too. So you know, this one got the drawstring. So that one is, is cool. But I'm hoping that this is not going to be too big only because I can actually show you one of my other wigs. Yeah, see, this one stops here. And that's as far as I can go to adjust it. Like, I'm going to show you on my other wig. Like, this wig that I got here. You see how this one, I can pull this one all the way to the middle. And that's normally how how close I like my clips to be. So that's the only downfall I think about that wig so far. Hold on, give me one second, guys. So yeah, I think the only part, that's like the only part right now is the downfall is how close I like it and this wig don't have it. So yeah, this is one of my other favorite wigs too. I love this one. But um... Yeah, so, so far, that's the only downer, and I'm hoping it's not going to be too big, but I guess we'll know when we try it on, because I can't go any further than where they are right now. And normally, I like them about that close, because I like my wigs tight and secure, you know? But we'll see, since they got the three combs in there. So, we're going to put this wig on. And I can already feel... that for me, it's not tight enough. So what I might end up having to do is, so what I might end up having to do is um, gluing the straps together, like almost touching kind of, um, to get it a little bit, um, a little bit closer for me, because to me, this is, this is too, this is too loose. Um, and I don't, I normally don't do my wigs this, this, um, 
that loose. I like my joints tight. So if the wind blow, my my joint won't go. You know, I won't be blown away. But um, so the texture of the hair, I like it. It's a nice texture. Um, I like the curls. The curls are nice. The C part um on the wig, I feel like it may need to be plucked a little bit because it's to me like it's there or I could use probably concealer also it's there but I don't feel like it's deep enough you know um so yeah I may go in and pluck it a little bit more because I like my my the part a little bit deeper um I like it though it's cute I like the color um the consistency as far as the the of the curls is very nice um i probably won't know if it sheds a lot until i wear it a little bit so i'm gonna have to um see how the shedding goes on this wig but i do like the consistency i like the curls um yeah, the only the only downside I think to this wig as of right now is how loose it is on my head. And I think that will probably be the only downside. And then the part right here um not being um deep enough. But I like I said, I can always pluck it or I can use concealer to fix it. So that's this part is not really a big of a deal. This part isn't really either. I just wish it would have came with that extra what's that about two inches? Probably an inch and a half um of the strap in the back but other than that i like this wig it's really nice um i would recommend it i definitely i'm definitely gonna rock it um but yeah if you thought this video was good please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and leave me a comment down below and let me know um what y'all think about this wig and what other reviews y'all want me to do and that's gonna be it for now so thank you guys have a good one god bless